I see that data in the way I understand my business, right? So I see I see data for sales and marketing under the sales and marketing tab. I see data for my expenses under the expenses tab, for financials, reports, and so on. Now, not only can you see that, uh, is it structured according to the way I understand my business, the data that's presented is data that's relevant to me. So I, I can see my key performance indicators, my the, the trend of my income, my expenses, and I, keep, I can even pull data outside of next week. So for example, I'm displaying weather here. Uh, it, all right. So just to put, just to, to show you, for example, what my, for example, an employee based in Japan would see. So you'll see NetSuite in a totally different way. So for example, this sales rep, what you'll see in NetSuite is the way he, the data that's only relevant to him. So for example, his leads, his opportunities, his, his customers, forecast of sales, and so on. So, so, so you notice here's CEO role, different view, that data. Now he's switched roles, same company, switched roles, now it's a sales rep. So the appropriate way for a sales rep to look at that is like a, a sales app. So the application reconfigures itself, shows his lead, you know, his lead, his opportunities, his customers, but it's all looking at that same data, like right? the same that's different functionality. Right, and, and the nice thing about NetSuite One World, NetSuite One World PH is our ability to support multiple currencies. So earlier, data was presented in 15 pesos, but here, as you can see, data is presented in Japanese yen. Now another thing is if, if my sales rep is Japanese, so obviously I prefer my data presented Japanese language, so I can, with the, you know, with the toggle, I can present my data in Japanese. So, but unfortunately, I don't speak Japanese, and I don't think you you understand Japanese as well. So let me go back to English. Coming into the cloud makes very simple. Doing this in a traditional application, how do you switch between languages? How do you switch between currencies? Incredibly complex. Probably take an admin to go make all these changes. Here, simple toggle switch. Boom. Looking at it in. Currency of my country, the language of my country. So, so let me let me now proceed to uh, and show you NetSuite using another using the role of the CFO of One Republic. Now, now this here I'll show you the added specifically for Philippine businesses. Now, what that the first thing that Zach mentioned is support for withholding tax. Now, let me show you that. Now, with, now since One Republic is a is a is a large corporation, so the BIRs as what they call uh, top large taxpayers or companies belong to the large top 20,000 corporations. And if you're a large corporation, you need to automatically withhold tax. So here, if I, for example, if I uh, make a purchase from a vendor, so for example, from Cebuano Furnitures, I'm going to buy a furniture from them. So let's say I'm going to add a, a, high, a high back chair. Now as I add that item, notice, that the correct tax code is automatically added. Now in case that's, you know, I'm a CFO and I, I say no, this is the correct tax. Is this the same for uh, the year-end purchase or the next quarter? I can easily change the tax code. So again, here's a little bit of that complexity I talked about just on the VAT piece, you saw all those different VAT codes. Obviously the way the 